Normally we get to the theaters and we start going, it's too slippery. Oh my God, it's too sticky. And we haven't had one complaint no. since we've been here in the West End using the Hollywood floor. So we are absolutely pleased. Very happy. Amazing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Robbie Camatoni. I'm from Sydney, Australia. I'm 21. I've been with Burn the Floor now for nearly three years. I, I've been dancing now for at least, I think about 14 years. I started specialising in mostly ballet, contemporary, jazz um, and hip-hop and then kind of grew into the world of ballroom and Latin um, three years ago. Um, and I got this job uh, from So You Think You Can Dance, winning the season three back home in Australia. Every dancer in the world knows about this show. Um, so I went and saw it, completely inspired, completely blown away, but I just knew I would never be a able to be a part of this show because I, I had no Latin or ballroom background and that, that is the only way you can be in this show. Um, so when I got given that chance I immediately grabbed it and here I am and I'm very lucky to be partnered with yeah, Sunny and Sunny. Sunny. <laughs> we call each other Sunny and Sunny. I'm Jeanette Monrara. I'm from Miami in the US, a Cuban family. And I did a lot of musical theater as a kid first. Um, so I did that from 12 to about 18 or 19. And then at 19, I decided to really focus in on dancing. And I started taking a lot of ballet and jazz and ballroom and hip hop and flamenco and point, all of it. And I um, was lucky enough to be a part of So You Think You Can Dance as well in the USA. And that just completely opened a million doors for me. That's where I met Jason Gilkison, which is the choreographer here um, and director of Burn the Floor. And he really enjoyed my dancing and he said, would you fly to New York City and audition for me? And I said, yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna think about that one twice. So I flew to New York City. I finally got to see the show live and I was, it just was the final factor. And I hope to someday truly be a part of that cast. And when it came time to actually get on the dance floor and audition with some of them, I was like starstruck. I was completely overwhelmed in a very beautiful way about how amazing all of them were. And uh, a few months later, I got the phone call and I said, yes, I'm in, I'm <laughs> so happy. And he's watched him on YouTube after finding out he was gonna be my partner and it kind of like shook my knees a little bit. But <laughs> I was really excited because the height is perfect, the <laughs> energy is the same. So three years later, we're here. <laughs> my whole life I've basically kind of danced barefoot and you can tell when a floor is perfect because you're not dancing with your heart I guess like <laughs> up in your high you know you know what I mean you've got your feet really stable and I think that's why this floor is perfect for burn the floor if you're able to still have a good grip while you're flat-footed with no shoes on but still be able to slightly turn your foot without it getting that stuck on the floor that's that's a perfect floor. Yeah. <laughs> Prevents injuries, in like long-term injuries, which can affect your career. Um, also, you know, this is live theatre we're talking about. And you just need to make sure that when you're standing, you're standing on something good. Yeah. So. <laughs> because you don't, you know, you shouldn't have to worry as a performer about what is going on under your feet. You should seem to worry about what you're doing and that's it. You don't have the right floor, if it's too slippery, if it's too sticky. It's our God. <laughs> yeah, you're just not going to have a great show, great performance, it's not the audience isn't going to enjoy it. So it's extremely, extremely important. important. Yeah. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs>